Good day everyone, here is Sport Trooper channel and here I'm gonna tell you mostly about bicycles and sometimes about sports. My first video is about brand history of GT bicycles which is quite popular in the United States. GT is a bicycle manufacturer which is specializing mostly on BMX, mountain bike and road bikes. The company was founded in 1972 by enthusiast Gary Turner in Santa Ana, California. By the way, particularly the naming of GT bicycles is based on the two first letters of the name and surname of Gary. So Gary G and Turner T. At the beginning of the independent growth, GT bicycles was focusing on BMX bicycles and they had already conquered the target audience. Sometimes later the company was refocusing to mountain bikes, which were quite popular in the United States at the end of 1980s. And I'm quite sure that most of the riders know GT for sure for the main technology of the company, which is called Triple Triangle. And right before the Olympics in 1996, the company developed the superbike for the Olympic team of the United States, which was cost around $30,000 per unit. Today GT Bicycle is a part of the big trans corporation, which is called Doral Sports, which collects a lot of brands such as Cannondale, Mangoose and etc. By the way, not so far, Doral Sports has become to be a part of Pong Holdings, which has become to be the most valuable bicycles corporation in the world, overheading giant bicycles. Between 1972 till 1998, the company was totally independent, but at the end of the 20th century, the company was acquired by Quest Partners. And by the way, Quest Partners had already had in their portfolio Schwinn bicycles. And two years later, the Quest Partners were overtaken by Pacific Cycle, and in the year 2004, this company was overtaken by Dural Sports. Too many acquisitions, isn't it? But let's come back to 1972, where a young drag racer, Gary Turner, and welder, by the way, has decided to make a BMX bicycles for his son Craig. And he has decided to make this by his hands. The thing was that the most popular bike in the 1970s was Schwinn Stingray, but it doesn't fit good for a BMX approach. And for sure, Gary wanted to make the bicycles for the BMX, and for sure Gary wanted to make a bicycle especially for BMX, but that was not the only thing. Another thing that Gary decided to choose chromo pipes instead of steel pipes in order to make the bicycles more stiff. For sure it was a brilliant idea, because the bicycles had begun to be more durable. After the first ride by Craig, how do you think, who were the main clients of the GT bicycles frames? For sure Craig's best friends. Four years later, the frames had been started to be sold not only in the Gary's garage. They had been appeared on the shelves of the bicycle store, which was called Paddles Ready. Gary had also sponsored the son of the owner of the store, so I'm quite sure that it helped to make the final decision to sell these frames in the store. One year later, Gary met Richard Long, which offered to sell Gary's frames in the, his store, which was located in Anaheim, California. And since that moment, GT Bicycles Corporation had been established. Richard and Gary has bought a real bicycles factory, which was assembling a Chromo BMX. Shortly, Richard had decided to sell his shop in Anaheim and put the money in the business, and Gary was focused on developing the product. The first assembled bicycle model in the factory was GT Pro, which was rapidly tested by a few pro riders. A few moments later, Junior, Expert 24 and 26 models were released, and the main core model has become to be the Performer. In between 1984 till 1989, the company has acquired a few small companies. These companies were called like Dyna, Robinson Racing, uh, Auron Cycling, and etc. In 19th, when BMX had become to be less popular, the company has started to transfer itself to a public company. In 1996, the company had won a real grant to make a superbike for the United States Olympic team in Atlanta. And the project was called 96, and GT has developed a real carbon masterpiece, which didn't have 
the upper tube and it was totally aerodynamic. And for sure you think that this was the main successful story of the company, isn't it? This year the company has started to collaborate with Nike brand, which for sure is one of the most valuable sport brand in the world. They decided to support teams from the both sides. The GT bicycle supported with the bicycles and Nike brand was supporting with the equipment. And it's a real successful story of the big marketing collaboration. But for a big unfortunate 1996 was ended with the bad news. The co-founder of GT bicycles and the leader of the company, Richard Long, has been died in motor crash. He was driving so fast, so he had died before the ambulance had come in San Bernardino. And since that moment, the company, which was producing around 600,000 bicycle units per year, the company, which had a turnover around $150 million per year, has started to fall. And after two years of this fall, the GT bicycles had been sold to Quest Partners for $175 million. Then it was handled to the Doral Sports in 2004 and it had become to be a real market leader which collected all of the good brands on the US market. As a consequence, Gary had left the company in 1999, so the company had been led by a trans corporational management since that moment. But the history is just a history and it is a good luck that we can just click our fingers and move to the 2020s. Gary Turner around two years ago was invited to GT Bicycles company in order to make a special collection. This collection has been counted around 100 chromo frames, which was for sure sold just in one moment. These 100 frames were made in the Gary's workshop in California and for sure there was just a moment when all the frames had been sold for $900 per piece. And today, as a part of the big transcorporational company, GT Bicycles represents in the following categories like BMX, mountain bike and road bikes. Next time I will tell you about the model line of the GT Bicycles, so please subscribe the channel, set up the likes and share your opinion in the comments. Here we go to a sport trooper and good luck!